well, uh, still training for that ultra marathon. Easy does it. I'm doing the bare minimum I can possibly get away with and still get up to being able to run 100 miles in under 24 hours. I'd like to do it substantially faster than that, but <laughs> most likely when I get to the race and start running, I'll uh, get more conservative. I'll just be more focused on finishing under the 24 limit and not making a fool of myself. Oh yeah, and I hurt my back. I was trying to push this this young woman was broken down on the ramp I was flying a sign on and she was driving a truck that was uh, as old as I am and I'm 50 so that's not good. <laughs> I hurt my back. But uh, back injuries I tend to be able to work through those. And it's up higher too so it's not like the lower back where it's like affecting my legs. Oh, I'm struggling with money. The, it's more adventures than panhandling right now, which I don't like. Uh, I'm doing a lot of panhandling, just not making a whole lot of money because I'm just hanging out and hanging out. But I have to because, first of all, it's winter time. Look at this. Look at the weather. Huh? Yeah, see? It's hot. And this is February. So that's why I'm here. It's easy to roll out of my sleeping bag and go for a training run. <clears throat> quit smoking pot. <laughs> See, I'm giving you a rundown because I haven't been on the camera for a while, like a month. I don't have money for SD cards. This SD card's almost gone. <laughs> Basically, it's a, that's about it for this uh, episode of Adventures in Panhandling, or Camera Obscure, or whatever the hell I was calling it. Yeah. You keep filming, you get interesting stuff. That's all I can say. I'm going for a training run tonight, a long one up in the hills. See if my back's gonna heal up or not. See you then.